Before you watch this video, please make sure to go to my channel and click on playlists. Then from the playlist, select Forex Scalping Strategies. Click on the Scalping Keep Strategies and then you will find here one video called the best Forex Scalping Strategy explained in details along with Forex Price Action. Please watch these two videos in order to understand the strategy that you are about to watch in this live trading video. Hello everyone and welcome on this new live trading video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So as we can see my friends, most of the signals which I have sent last Saturday on YouTube have actually went to the take profit level straight at the opening on Monday. As you can see right here, Euro USD, Pound USD, AUD USD, USD CAD have all of them reached the take profit instantly without uh, triggering our buy level. Meanwhile, the USD GPY has already been triggered as we can see 13 of June, which is today and the pair has already went to the take profit level and went back on to our entry. Now entering right here is not valid anymore because the market has already started flying since I have mentioned to start buying now, which was already happened. Anyway, luckily uh, or thankfully actually the market has reversed indeed at the level where I have mentioned to start buying and those who have entered this signal are running currently in about 25 pips of profit. USDCHF almost hit uh, the take profit level. Uh, the gold right now has been triggered as you can see and currently running in about 20 or actually 16 pips of profit. So everything is going well so far with the signals which I have sent last uh, Saturday on YouTube. However, let's now begin with the uh, live trading session and this time I will go to the pairs one by one. So as we can see right here for the pound and ZD, right now uh, as um, actually according to the strategy of 20 pips a day, we always want to check on the four hour time frame if, we are, if the market right now is on a support or resistance level. As we can see right now, the market is actually facing a strong support level or support zone so this is the support zone right here and this right here was the resistance level which means on the four hour time frame we can clearly switch now back to the 15 minute time frame to find any good buy entry we don't want certainly to start shorting the market on a support level remember i'm only scalping meaning i'm just aiming about 20 or 15 pips you can say it depends of course on the profit that the market can provide to us now let's pay attention actually right here we are having here that the market right now is reversing or actually right now the market is facing the real level of the support actually placing now the buy order is ideal i need to place the buy order right let me just reduce the lot size to make it 1.2 just reduce the, the risks to the maximum uh because the market has already reversed uh, right here let me just show it to you the market has already reversed right here and currently i'm on the second attempt of the support and personally i prefer always the first attempt but since we are trading at the second attempt i had to reduce the risk so 1.2 lot size is actually more than enough and let me just make sure yes fantastic 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 place the buy order and it has been placed uh stop loss right here let's invest about 200 dollars in this trade meanwhile the take profit level is gonna be right here about 200 dollars okay so I have to explain to you the reason behind this entry. So again, back to the four hour time frame. On the four hour time frame, we are actually right now facing a strong support zone, which means we have to look for a buy order since we are actually on a support zone. Back to the 15 minute time frame. Now on the 15 minute time frame, all we need to do is actually identifying the entry where exactly I can place my buy order. Now, since I'm actually on, on the four hour time frame, I am on a support. I cannot actually place my buy order right here since that this is actually a resistance on the 15 minute time frame. So actually the best level to start buying is exactly where I had placed my buy order right now. Why? Because right here we're having a real level of a support. Then we had right here a false breakout. And again, the real level of the support has been respected as we can see. Not only once, but twice. So we had one and two false breakouts. False breakouts actually is, is something very interesting and uh, it's actually hard to be identified by some of the new traders. We are looking for uh, a certain level of a support, then we are looking for the odd 
odd uh, pattern right here. The odd pattern is usually the false breakout because we can see that the market has been respecting that level of support consistently. Then suddenly we have here some odd pattern has appeared, which means that this pattern here, it, it shouldn't be there. It's like the market has just made an attempt to break out from that level of a support. Then at the retest, it has failed and the market has went again right above that level of a previous support. So therefore, the real level of the support lies exactly at 1.93568. Uh, there and right there and right there. Now, let me just tell you something. Uh, since we are actually trying to always to trade the second, sorry, the first or the second attempt of a support, the counting starts always after the breakout, even if it's false a breakout, which means we have right here support number one, support number two, false breakout, support number one, support number two, false breakout, support number one, support number two. That's how it works. So therefore, I had to place my trade right here at the second attempt of the support. And as we can see, the stop loss has been placed to be just equivalent to the take profit level. Because my take profit level has to be at exactly the nearest support or resistance to my entry. And since I have placed my trade right here at that support level, that means that the take profit level must be placed exactly right here at the nearest resistance to the entry. That being said, I had to place here the buy order. All we need to do right now is just wait and let's see what will gonna happen and just hope for the best. So uh, let me now please pause the recording and I'll be back to you shortly. And thankfully it was a good deal as you can see, I think. Uh, I want to tell you something. I was actually lucky and unlucky in this trade. So I was actually lucky uh, that the market has reversed. Uh, no, no, actually, let me just uh, reverse that. I am first unlucky because I was stuck in the middle of a false breakout again. And actually, there was a chance that this trade could have hit the stop loss. But lucky, uh, luckily me, actually, I uh, it was in the end just a false breakout. And eventually we have ended so far in a good profit, as we can see. I'm thinking to just close the trade right now since I'm a person who rely on 103. Fantastic, fantastic. 103. That's enough. fantastic. I'm very happy about that. That's what I'm aiming for, guys. Um, one of the reasons why I have I have been in this market for a long time with consistent profits is I have learned to be not a greedy person. Yes, I told you that the take profit level should be placed right there at the nearest support to our entry, but that's just the rules. For me, I'm just considering the profits that we have made. And I'm, of course, uh, converting the dollars to my local currency. And $104 is actually a very good amount. And the account right now is about $2,150. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Let me now increase the risk a little bit more to 1.50 lot size. Anyway, allow me now please to pause the recording. And I'll be back to you later once I find another trade by the way we have ended this trade with about 17 pips of profit so let me pause and i'll be back to you ust jpy ust jpy is showing us now something interesting happening actually this price action right here indicates first of all for two things actually uh, it indicates first of all uh, for a false breakout which means this was a false breakout as you can see and the market has went back exactly right below that level of a previous resistance and the market right now is rising again retesting or res respecting actually that level of a resistance number two this price action in general indicates a bearish reversal it's a good sign that we can start shorting the market so that being said, on the 4-hour time frame, we can switch now back to the 15-minute time frame just to confirm our entries. So as you can see, this is the 15-minute time frame for the UST GPY. Let me just move this one a little bit more. Exactly. So right now, we can see clearly that the best level to start shorting the market should have been exactly where the market right now is. However, I'm not going to place any sell, uh, any sell order right now. You know why? Because the price action right here on the 15-minute time frame tells us that the market seems like it's going to continue the rise. Even on the or even that on the four-hour time frame, we have confirmed that there was a false breakout. Uh, since I'm scalping and on the 15-minute time frame, I think it's not really ideal to start shorting the USDJPY right now with such a price action that shows a rejection here on the level of the support right here. Exactly. Let me just show it to you exactly right here. So this was a very strong level of a support, as we can see, at 134.422. 
and it seems like the market has shown a strong uh, some rejection to break out from that level of a support so selling right now is actually not ideal so let me now please pause the recording and i'll be back to you once i find another setup all right here and for the nzd usd we're having something very interesting right now on the four hour time frame again we're having right here a, a real level of a support then a false breakout and then we can expect from the market to create another uh, real level of the support and eventually we will be having here inverted head and shoulders pattern indicate that most likely the market is going to continue the rise so all of that being of course analyzed just on the four hour time frame let me just go back to the 15 minute time frame now on the 15 minute time frame we just need to scroll more to the left as we can see the current candle is actually going below the, the blue line which i have drawn here however we can see clearly that the support level look at the mouse cursor the support level lies exactly right there so that's going to be the best level to start actually buying the nzd usd and that is almost right now it's just like just barely two pips far away from the entry and i think it's going to be a good one here so that being said i'm actually thinking I'm considering to start buying right now and let's see what will gonna happen back to the four hour time frame yes yes it's, it's a definite entry for me that's actually one of the perfect setups and I prefer to place the buy order right now and place the buy order and again my friends I'm on the four hour time frame because actually it's very clear for me on the four hour time frame actually there was absolutely no need to go to the 15 minute time frame so first of all the take profit level the take profit level should be placed of course right here exactly right here and why right here let me just first of all set my stop loss just to avoid any disaster or catastrophe maybe something will go wrong with this trade we don't know yet so let me just tell you something actually um yeah since we are dealing with the five hour four hour time frame uh, it makes absolutely no sense to set this take profit level. I'm aiming just 20 pips. So therefore, let me just make my take profit level to be 20 pips only. 23. 20 pips, $300. So let's make the risk equivalent to the reward. So of course, right here, my friends. Um, since I have placed my trade right here on the 4-hour time frame, actually, I cannot tell where the target should be, should be placed. I should move to the 15-minute time frame. So this is the 15-minute time frame. And as we can see, uh, we had right here the entry at the new support, as we can see. And thankfully, we are running so far in profit. And however, the take profit level should be placed, of course, at the nearest resistance or support to my entry. This is, of course, the nearest resistance to the entry. That being said, I had to place the, the take profit level right here. Actually it was just by luck because i was seeing this on the four hour time frame not 15 minute time frame so yeah it was basically luck to find the tech profit level right here and of course the uh, stop loss has to be the same since i'm actually investing this amount the same amount which i'm aiming to make anyway uh the trade so far is going well i think and i hope it's gonna end well let me now please pause the recording and i'll be back to you shortly all right so let me just tell you something it was actually a hundred dollars of profit uh it went down all the way to 63 i was about to close the trade with a hundred dollars of profit but sadly we will just have to wait more i think yeah we will have to wait some more time uh that's totally fine 64 i believe actually i never stick to the take profit levels i'm telling you that i always look at the amount that i have made and i always close the trade accordingly based on the profit that we have made and we are growing the account as we can see uh okay then i need to pause the recording and i'll be back to you again shortly all right guys so actually i don't feel good about this trade anymore actually it went in loss uh, of 70 dollars then right now finally went back in a little bit profit and i'm gonna close it nine dollars that's all right uh the downtrends or the momentum actually seemed really strong look at it right now it's falling again so i think uh closing it was the right uh call that i have that uh, i have done closing it was actually better yes uh the down the momentum is actually quite strong and maybe buying it right now was not a good idea but sadly it was actually in 90 dollars of profit and i have just wasted that uh that doesn't feel good really anyway 
let's now get back to the four hour time frame and let's try to find something else where we can make some real profits so allow me now again please to pause the recording and i'll be back to you shortly all right so let me just tell you what i have found here which is really interesting um i want to show you this my friends actually right here if i have drawn here the fibonacci retracement from this lower low or this actually higher low uh, higher low to this higher high check this out right now we can see clearly that the market is actually on fibonacci uh, retracement 50 and by looking at the 15 minute time frame right now if i just scroll more to the left we can notice it clearly let me just show it to you Let's zoom in again so we can see together that this was actually a real level of a resistance right here this was the false breakout this was the false breakout and right here lies the real level of the resistance exactly at fibonacci number 50. so right now actually we can assume that this previous resistance is becoming a new support that being said i'm going to place the buy order right now fantastic sorry did i shout i didn't mean it guys sorry i was just excited <laughs> So as you can see, I have placed here the uh, buy order. Let me just make sure that the take profit level is placed exactly at the nearest resistance to our entry. And of course, as we can see, this was the new support where I have placed my trade. This was right here, the nearest resistance to our entry. Uh, the take profit level is equivalent to $203.18 pips. So therefore, let me just make sure that the, the same exactly is placed as of the stop loss so the risk to reward ratio is gonna be 50 to 50. all right so we have placed the buy order right now based on the fibonacci retracement and of course as well uh by looking at the brief on the left and we have seen uh, a previous resistance and right now becoming the new support this is the first attempt which is sub, uh, support number one so it's actually a good idea let me know please uh pause the recording and i'll be back to you shortly all right all right so this trade is going miserably bad uh so far oh my goodness 140 130 dollars of loss that's actually a lot i don't feel good about that actually uh, i didn't this want this to happen 130 dollars 121 109 109 109 dollars of loss i can take it i can take it it's all right now i want to go to the gold which is my savior and my safe option to always recover from any losses happened uh as we can see right here let me just uh one second guys sorry <clears throat> so actually i want first of all to reduce the lot size to be 0.80 now actually right now for the gold as we can see the gold has suddenly fallen all the way to that level of a strong key support level at 1848.98 i think it's gonna be ideal to place a buy order right now for the gold uh and we can actually exit the trade right here at the nearest uh, support to our entry but for the gold i always prefer to switch to the one minute time frame and trade it that's actually gonna be better for me why why on the one minute time frame because for the gold um the gold you can easily make 18 20 pips as you can see we just need a small movement right here and therefore moving to the one minute is actually better but i don't want to see any price action at all all i care for is identifying the strong support and resistance levels and based on that i'm going to place my buy my buy order check this out right now we are having here a very strong key resistance level at 1848.29 which was previously also a strong key support level so what i'm going to do is i'm gonna wait for the gold oh my god it already fallen here check this out oh my goodness it had already fallen here that was exactly the level where i'm waiting for the gold to fall to check this out i, I just saw this on the one minute time frame and check this out the gold has already reversed right here on the same level of the resistance uh the gold has already reversed for about 30 pips i would say almost 30 pips so therefore uh we might need to wait some more time before placing another buy order i'm still gonna stick to this uh, level of support actually i still don't feel well about losing um the last trade i mean we have wiped all the profits that we have made in this video and i'm hoping actually to recover something from the gold that's actually forex my friends uh we have to understand that losses is actually part of this game 
And there is absolutely nothing to be done about that. Nothing you can do about it. You have to accept the losses. You have to accept that sometimes uh, the market might not go in your direction and you have to do something about it. Don't expect from the market to do something for you. You have to take the step and you have to do something to recover your potential losses. So I'm just waiting for the gold to fall here again and I will place another buy order once the gold falls to the same level of that support. So until then, allow me please to pause the recording and I'll be back to you shortly. So a quick update about the gold. As we can see, the gold has indeed reversed on that level of a support, which I have mentioned earlier. However, the gold right now is rising again. And as we can see, we're having here a previous strong key support level at 1852.53. And if we check on the left side, we can see clearly that this was actually a very strong key resistance level. That's a level that I can trust and I can actually place my sell order. And you know what? I'm a, a bit really pissed off and I'm going, I'm going to increase the lot size to make it 1.2. I have never went above uh, one lot for the gold, but I'm just really upset about losing the, the last trade uh, where we have lost $109. Anyway, let's see what will going to happen. Uh, the gold right now is falling again. It's now stuck in this neutral channel. Anyway, let me please again pause the recording, my friends. The gold has went back to that support level. No, this time I'm going to reduce the lot size back to 0.80. I trust that resistance much more than this support right now. Uh, place the buy order. Fantastic. Fantastic. We have placed the buy order again. And please pay attention that because I'm using IC markets, the lot, uh, sorry, the spread for the gold is almost nothing. It's just less than one pip, which is fantastic for a scalper. Okay. Okay. <laughs> My God, I had, I had, uh, I don't know how to describe it in English. That uh, I felt like my heart fall for a second. Like what the, what the hell happened? The gold suddenly falling like that, and I seriously felt something weird in my heart, like something falling along with it. <laughs> Okay, what's a relief? That's a relief. I can see already that we are we are recovering. <clears throat> 91, 100, 40, 100, 144, 150, 150. Fantastic! I'm very happy. 150. Oh my God! What happened here is amazing. <laughs> 150 dollars we have made from the gold. That drop right here has almost given me heart attack. I don't know why, but I just can't afford this much of losses especially when we are of no reason like that i mean if the loss happened because the market didn't respect the level and just went above uh, against my direction i would accept that but just losing a trade just because of like this and then i mean that's just uh, i cannot take it guys i i cannot sorry so anyway uh we have indeed recovered the losses and we have made some good profits now the account is $2,161. I'm still not done yet. I know the video is 22 uh, minutes so far, but I'm not done trading yet. I want to enter another trade. 15 minutes. Uh, I'm switching right now without even looking at the 4 hour time frame. Uh, just on the 15 minute time frame, trying to find anything good that we can trade so far. Um, I think there is... Okay. Yeah, there was some connection issues here on my computer, I think. Let me please pause the recording. Okay, my friends, sorry, I couldn't actually find anything good. And right now the time here in Dubai is 4.30 uh, p.m. I would prefer to stop trading for about one hour uh, because right now um, United States session just opened, I think. And um, it's a bit, uh, the market is actually in, in high volatility, volatility at the moment. So I prefer to stop trading for at least one hour. So again, um, I think it was fantastic live trading video. I have shared with you the profits and losses and the, uh, the recoverings that we have made from uh, our trades. I mean, it's really interesting to see that the Forex trading cannot be profitable every single day. P losses is part of this uh, work uh, or business, my friends. It's all about how you can recover. I admit I was really lucky with the gold. I have to admit that this drop right here was actually unexpected and it might happen. If I have made my stop loss a little bit tighter, 
I would have already in, be, been right now in a big loss, but I'm very glad and happy for what happened. That's why my friends, Forex cannot be a consistent business. Um, Forex itself is very profitable. It's all about how you are managing your funds and capitals and how you are recovering the losses. If you don't do how, if you don't know how to manage any of that, then you really have no chance to survive in this market. Um, if you think Forex can be profitable every single day, then absolutely you have no chance to stay one day in this business. You have to understand that losses is part of it and um, some days will be bad and we have to prepare for these days. I'm very happy for the profits that we have made in this video so far. Of course, I will continue trading at night. I'm aiming to make at least $300 from, uh, from this account for today. So far, we have only $160. I mean, I know it's a small amount, but for me, it's all right. And also, um, it's just a scalping session with a reasonable amount size uh, on my capital. I mean, I don't really trade with tens of 50,000 or 100,000 of dollars. I'm just trading with um, uh, the amount that I can really afford and many other traders can afford as well. So in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.